Hi, and welcome back to South African Homestead. Today, I'm just going to show you um, something that my husband is trying. He is making our own pavers. You know, when you have a big farm like this, you need to save money any which way you can. So what he's doing is he's going to be putting in some a cement and sand mix. We call it dugger. He's going to be putting it in plastic bags and packing it all over this area here that we want to pave. Now we need to save money wherever we can. And then once it's dry, he's just going to take a blowtorch and melt down the plastic. And then we will hopefully have some pavers here. The cement to sand mix is quite strong so that we don't have chipping and things happening. But this is what he's doing. He's packing it like that and he's using a plastic bag and just putting in the cement. completely dry so he folds the bag closed and then just pats it all nice and flat and then he is ready to be placed where he wants it to be and then he places it there It's just an attempt. There's some bubbles in there, but it doesn't matter. It's just for this area. We're going to be doing this whole area. I don't know how long it's going to take. <laughs> but we attempt anything. And this is why we don't get bored um, on the farm. We keep busy all the time. We are so busy with many, many things and also looking for ways to save yeah, money. No, same that blowing around me. Yeah. Minimize the sand that Just by the way, this is actually a Strelitzia nikolai or the wild banana plant that I started from seed. Um, and this we, we planted it out yesterday or the day before. So it actually worked so I need to seed some more I, d I had more and they they all grew but uh, we planted it when the soil was not right so that one was in the pot and it was the only one that made it to that height I'm really hoping this is going to work you know when we if this works then we can do things with patterns and make a mold a wooden mold and do bigger slabs maybe eventually I said to my husband do you think we should um, sell this farm and move back to Cape Town to the city and he said are you crazy what am I gonna do there because he's busy continuously I've it's like I thought I was going to enjoy it more than him but he is thoroughly enjoying it because he can just potter around all day but this is just basically what I wanted to show you so I'm just going to be giving you a day-by-day -day update so that you can see how this is actually going to turn out and then of course we do have dogs and especially blade and blade doesn't know that he must walk on this so we're going to have some nice blade paws in our paving Done it thus far. I still needs to go all the way up here and there. And I think what I want to do is also do this little corner so that we can walk on the paving from there to here. So take away that corner maybe put maybe four bags in a row meeting up with us this. 
Now this is not complete yet, but this is what it looks like at the moment. And this is what it looks like in the evening, our little oasis. So please like, share and subscribe if you'd like to follow our journey. And from me, Hyria at South African Homesteader, until next time.